class of 2019 is truly diverse. We come from all walks of life and we're all so passionate about so many different things. So when I first got to Dickinson, I came as a recruited athlete for the football team, but I quickly evolved into much more than that. I joined the admission staff very early on and eventually worked my way as a student interviewer. So I studied abroad in Copenhagen, Denmark, um, and I know it sounds a little bit cliche, but it honestly has been one of the best experiences I've had at Dickinson. My favorite thing about Dickinson has been working at the House Divided studio under Professor Pinsker for the past two years. My study abroad experience in Tanzania was amazing. Um, getting the chance to actually do on the ground uh, field work was really great, and especially working directly with professors and being able to contribute to their research as well. I've been part of MOB. Sigma Lambda Beta, Res Life, Dreamcatchers, and I think that's like the best thing about Dickinson, that you can come here and they have so many organizations that you can be a part of. This spring I presented neuroscience research in New York City with Professor Barber, and it was a great way to work side by side with a faculty member. I have really loved singing with the Dickinson Infernos. We're one of three co-ed a cappella groups on campus, and with them I've truly just found a family of the most generous and genuine people I've ever met. Definitely being part of the women's basketball team here, I was allowed to have the best of both worlds with um, enjoying a sport and enjoying um, being in the classroom as well. I was recruited as an athlete and I expected just to be in that bubble of the football team, but you can really branch out to a bunch of different things. Um, I made friends in all the different types of sports groups and made friends who aren't in sports. Um, it's a, just a great community of people that you can just feel comfortable wherever you go. I was able to intern at Project Share for all four years, which is the local food pantry here in Carlisle. I interned at Becky's Bites in New York City, which is a small business founded by two Dickinson alumni. I learned a lot about marketing, business development, and about financing a small business. This semester I've been doing inclusivity policy research. Our research is called Bridging the Gap Between the Rhetoric of Diversity and Inclusivity and the Reality of Students' Experiences. And last week I had the honor to present this research to the Board of Trustees. I studied abroad in Norwich, England, and as an English major, there were so many opportunities for study there, so that was something I really appreciated, and it was such a fulfilling experience. I love working at ALARM, which is Alliance for Aquatic Resource Monitoring, and I also really enjoyed my studying abroad in Japan. I really enjoyed my time working at the Center for Advising Internships and Lifelong Career Development. Uh, I really enjoyed helping my peers with their resumes and cover letters. One of the most memorable experiences I've had um, is working on Relay for Life um, and it's an event put on by the American Cancer Association. I am on the varsity softball team and this past spring we've won the Centennial Conference Championship. I participated in Dickinson's Dickinson in New York program where I took two courses at a business school there, did an independent study as well as an internship. Two highlights uh, about my time at Dickinson were studying abroad in Brazil, also working on the Dickinson College farm. My favorite experience is leading service trips through the Center for Service, Spirituality and Social Justice. In my junior year, I started working in the cancer lab at Dickinson, which is under Professor Mike Roberts. I worked as a computational biologist in the lab. I've loved being a part of the Student Alumni Association, where I've gotten to build meaningful relationships with Dickinson alumni. I was very involved with WIND, which was We Introduced Nations at Dickinson. I was able to help organize a lot of great um, intercultural events. I really enjoyed building relationships with my faculty members, especially when you're part of a small department like the Earth Sciences Department, you really get to connect with them on a personal level. So I was able to make my own animation with the Weiss Prize, which is a prize for the creative arts. I've really enjoyed living in the Treehouse, which is Dickinson's Center for Sustainable Living, a special interest house on campus. One of my favorite things about my Dickinson experience um, was my work in Student Senate. I got to work with awesome students, to be able to experience that shared governance and see the kind of changes that students can make on campus um, was always really exciting. Because of the Roberts Fund, I was able to do a Latin tutorial at Oxford University through the ASC BATH program. I would have to say it's been studying abroad in Spain and living minutes away from the beach. So after Dickinson, I am going to go to the Czech Republic and teach English as a Fulbright ETA for the 2019-2020 uh, academic year. I'm going to uh, go to a PhD program to study applied mathematics at Brown. I'll be joining Boston Children's Hospital as part of the administrative team in the Division of Newborn Medicine. So I'm going to be joining MLB Network this summer starting in June. I'm going to be starting as a production assistant. And I'll be working at Northwestern Mutual in New York City. And I'll be joining Bloomberg, the financial services company, and their analytics and sales department. 
I'm going to attend uh, East Asian Languages and Cultures program at Columbia. I plan on working at IBM as an enterprise applications consultant. I'll be going to Dartmouth to pursue a PhD in engineering. I'll be moving to Virginia to start working as a human capital consultant at Deloitte. I'll be working at Vanguard as a client relations associate with the Retail Investment Group. I will be pursuing a research Fulbright in Brazil. I'm going to Duke University to study biomedical engineering with a concentration in neural engineering. I'm going to be an acquisitions analyst for Booz Allen Hamilton. I'm going to be working as an actuary at Liberty Mutual in Boston. I'll be attending Boston University, getting my Master's of Music in Music Education. I'll be working at the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard, um, continuing my research in cancer, where I will be an associate computational biologist. I will be working at Johnson & Johnson's World Headquarters. I'm going to Columbia to get a Master's in American Studies. I will be a graduate student at the University of Michigan in the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences. I'll be starting a position as a small commercial underwriter for the Hartford. I will be working as an environmental specialist for Triumvirate Environmental in Boston. I'll be going to Columbia University and try to pursue a master's degree in environmental science and policy. The class of 2019 has a lot of leaders, a lot of go-getters, and so I expect us to really go out into the world, change it for the better, 